Hey, what's up everyone? It's still in the great here. Have you ever wanted to edit a video and be a YouTuber? A good YouTuber? Well, today Dylan can help you with that. But before you do, you better subscribe and hit the like button. Because I'm coming for you! So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to video edit using Sony Vegas. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of this video. I hope you guys enjoy and learn a couple cool tricks. What the freak? Hey buddy, you want some chocolate? You want some chocolates? I love chocolates. They're really good. I've heard a lot over here in the bag. In the bag. In the bag. I love the bag. Okay, we are in Sony Vegas. Well, let me uh, bring in my clip. So here we are with our clip in Sony Vegas. This is basically our clip. I'll move this to basically select the entire thing. But that doesn't really matter right now. For now, let's just view the first part real quick. Hey guys, it's Dylan the Great here. Let's talk about random topics. That's about the first part I have starting off. So you're probably going to want your video to fade in or have some transition. So let's not just like straight hey out guys, of nowhere. Hey guys, So if you take this little, uh, if you go straight to the start here, like right here, I can't zoom it in anymore. I'll probably zoom in to edit on Sony Vegas. You take this thing, like this corner, and you pull it up, fade and offset, and that'll pull up, and you'll be able to just fade it in, so you can get a little hey fade guys. effect at the beginning of your video. So the next thing you want to do while you're editing the entire video is here. I said still in the great here. Let's talk about random topics where anything doesn't happen, or anything you're just like silent, or nothing interesting is happening, or you're not saying anything important. You can just take it, press S to cut like I just did a second ago, and drag this to where you next talk or do something that you consider important or interesting in the video. So let's drag that over. Topics. How do I freaking... And that's a cut. That's a cut to the video, and you just skip forward in the timeline. So yeah, basically, that was an easy, like, 20 seconds of a video I just edited in, like, 5 seconds. Not even difficult. This is where a little editing style and originality comes in. I like to make my videos pop by making it funny or editing it randomly. And so yeah, say we want to make it more interesting. Like here. Hey guys, it's still in the great here. Let's talk about random topics. If we don't want it to just be like completely boring and unedited here, what we can do is we can press this little like crop icon. It's not really a crop icon, but it's like pan and crop. So we can take that, this me, this little marker here, you see this marker that you can drag around? This is basically the first marker, it's the default position, you can get rid of it if you want, but I, re I recommend keeping it for, you know, stuff, purposes. So, yeah, scroll in with your mouse wheel or scroll out, and go to the very end, if you want to do, like, this kind of edit. You can, like, zoom out, and what I'm gonna do for this moment is I'm gonna, like, flip it a bunch because it's kind of like something random and and like odd that you wouldn't normally say so I wanted to um, do that to make it kind of like fit and here I'll just make it slowly zoom in here now it looks like this hey guys it's still in the great here let's talk about random topics so as you can see now we have that it's an a lot that's a lot more interesting than just plain old bleh. so like, if I want to say, like, why would you do that? Why would you rush me like that? That. So, like, here, say I would want to zoom in on chat or something, and I only want the chat to show up. So that key point is focused on. So, like, I'll move in, like, through the timeline a little bit, and here, uncheck at lock aspect ratio, and pull it down, like this. You can scroll it, like, however you want, and then move it like directly over the text like right here and you can like pull it up here it'll be easier if i like move it like that so now it's only the text key 15 was crusaded by the knight telling the great yt this is really random I i'm just going off of things i know to help you guys edit and these are just basic editing stuff that'll just make your video pop and be more interesting. So here, I can take it, Let me and get, we can see jitter position. Like, you're such a oh boy. Back. Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you rush me like that? 
So it just zooms in on chat. Why would you do that? Why would you rush me like that? Very slowly. You can also change the way it fades in by going here, clicking smooth. So this will go like smooth. Why would you do that? Why you can change it so it's like fast. Why would you do that? Why would so it just like moves in? Why would you do that? Why would you like rush really me like quickly? Why would you do here? Let me render this to help you guys get a better view. If you want to do a short render, um, just go here, move in the area to where you would like it and go here render as i have my own render settings so hate to break it to you guys but i'll show them off at the end of the video and scroll down here click select loop region only and just render this should go by very quickly due to the fact that yeah why would you do that so it kind of goes in to do that more smooth why would you do that one very important thing while using Sony Vegas, if you did not record your video in 120 FPS, you want to take it, go to switches, and hit disable resample. If you are recording above 60 FPS, meaning like 120, 240, like anything above that, you want to hit uh, force resample, so that way you'll get a nice little motion blur, or at least that's what I do. And it gives you a nice little motion blur effect. So I think that's pretty important uh, for if you're recording 120. So you can see here, frame rate, 120 FPS. So that is a very important aspect. So yeah, next thing I want to talk about is like adding an intro or adding music. So here's my intro. This was made by Aaron Hafiz Graphics. There we go. Okay, so say I want to put like an intro somewhere. Oh my god. Like right over where I edited here. Which is like, I I'm just being like, incredibly random here. So, I want to go to where this, like, text begins to pop up. Go here. So, this is where it's fully in. So, I'm going to push this in a little bit. So, we don't have that much showing. And turn in a whole lot of fade in offset. Like, the same way that we faded in with the video. And I'm going to right click near the very top. And make it like, smooth in. Or actually, I'm going to make it like, push in so at the very last second it gets louder so here i'll have it like this i'm also going to turn it down a whole lot because we don't want the audio for the video being way like the we don't want the audio for the intro being way louder than the actual video and i'll show you how to remove like the red screen or green screen after but here it's like Stop. this didn't let me get freaking jitter clicking position you're such a little boy why would you do that why? so the, it comes up why would you rush me like that? Cool, we have that, but how do we get rid of the annoying red? What's the point of that? Well, that is an easy thing to do. So we go to Vegas, like at the very end of our uh, video effects. I only have the S stuff because I have um, Sapphire effects. Very useful. Recommend getting them. So let's add Vegas Chroma Cure here and uh, go over here. So as we can see, it's automatically set to blue. So it'll just remove anything blue in here. So say if it's like here, there's not very much blue in here, but if I like put it on green, it'll remove everything green in the video and anything like here, if I fudging, okay. If I put like something underneath, I understand that looks kind of cool, but like the problem is if I put something underneath, like it, it'll show through. I never actually tried doing that, but that actually kind of but no, that's not what we want. We don't want to remove green. We want to remove the red. So you go here and like it depends for what color your intro is or what color it's intended to take. Mine's intended to be red. So I'll scroll over to red. Clearly, we have a bit of adjusting to do. But luckily, I adjusted for a couple minutes, found the perfect color. And I set it to intro red screen as a default here. You can go like la 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 and like make it like bright green and like save it like basically this is showing how to make a preset you save preset here and it'll always be here la 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 la, la. but no we want intro red screen because that's what mine is usually and i'm going to take it back here see where the intro ends or you can actually see again so about here is when it should fade in and we want the video sound to fade in as well as this to fade out 
so we don't want to hear all of that. We'll want to hear it fade out like more suddenly, so we're gonna set it to this so it goes down suddenly. So here we have it like this now. Freaking day! Stop! 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 Didn't let me get the reds gone completely. And here it comes. Why would you do that? Why would you rush me? And we're right back into the video, just like that. See? That's the magic of video editing. That's how you import an intro. But say you want to add music. Some random music. So here, let me just grab my music. And it could be like, I don't know, uh, I'll just do between the lines, I guess. It's just random music. Depending on how lo loud your video is, you want to take this and like grab the arrow up and turn down the gain a whole lot so that your voice is much louder than it. Or if you're making a montage, you can just leave it the same. But here, it'll fade in to this. Is that freaking hat? You can adjust it just by doing this. So, this would be like okay, well, now a good place to, to leave it. Mid. And you can good. hear the music in the background. Uh, you can just like turn it up or down. So if you want it to be like a PVP montage or something, you can just like crank it up and take Shut your video eyes, not to speak, that I'm and I there it'll be break, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. so that would be if you want to like a montage another thing i want to get to is like video effects so i'm gonna get rid of the audio at this point it's not really useful to me so i'll just crop out a random piece there and i'll add a shake effect you don't Actually, this doesn't come with Sony Vegas. It's um, a thing called um, Sapphire. I mentioned it earlier. It's very useful. I recommend you get it. So if I say want like a little shake and like want it to be like really subtle, I could set it to like frequency of 30 and an amplitude not that high. So it'll be just like a little wavy effect. It could be a bit faster. So 91, I guess, would be better. You see that shake is pretty good and we could turn up the amplitude like a whole freaking lot it would just be like insane it's like all the way up there so it's like a pretty heavy shake or if we wanted to just go mentally insane we turn up the frequency all the way and we just <laughs> don't do that unless you're me and it's like the perfect situation then you're good so also you can add sound effects the same way you added music just put it wherever you can add images add videos it's just perfect like this is a great editing software completely perfect no well, not completely but you know it's pretty good if you want something like majestic there's a really really cool uh effect on here called rays and it's pretty cool i don't know how the software does this but basically it just creates these awesome rays that you can just like position anywhere so here, this this looks kind of epic right now, like the way it's positioned. The snow is kind of messing it up, but as you can see, like it's coming through all the holes, like everything around. It's awesome, dude. This is a really cool effect. So like the cool thing about it is it tracks too. So like I jump down here, I jump down here, it mainly goes away. Problem is like inventory, it's obviously gonna be like that, but yeah. So that's basically how to video edit. It's not. A very difficult process to get used to but it takes some time to learn but once you get the hang of it you're pretty much good so yeah that was how to video edit if you, this helped you learn anything useful for your your video editing success then comment it down below this is a very helpful program and yeah i'll run down this like small i'll render this small video for you guys and i'll plop it right in with everything else it's gonna look really trashy because i'm like demonstrating everything but yeah also here right now here's my render settings so you don't all get like triggered at me or something it's like pop it up here customize template this is what i have audio cbr windows media audio 9.2 and this is my kilobytes video windows media 9 Image size custom, 920 by 1080, frame rate 60 FPS. You don't want it to be 120 because you want to downgrade it to like get that get that solid motion blur, you know? This is my video smoothness, 
100, 100 sharpness. And internet LAN, 35 um, megapixels. Or I don't know what that is. And that's like... I don't know how to say it. It's M. I don't know how to say it because I'm stupid. And projects, just video rendering quality best. Use project settings and color space default. And okay. Then you can just take it and... Render your portion. Ta-da! Hey guys, it's Dylan the Great here. Let's talk about random topics. How do I freaking live in Skywars? It's impossible. Well, that's fantastic. I love dying in Skywars. It's my favorite after-school activity. Every freaking day! Stop! 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 You didn't let me get in freaking jitter clicking position. You're such a little boy. Why would you do that? Why would you rush me like that?